In this video, we'll look at visual ways to represent and understand the scalar resolute of vector A on vector B. Let's start by having a look at the definition. The scalar resolute of vector A on vector B is the component of A acting in the direction of B. But what does this actually mean? The black line shows the scalar resolute of vector A on vector B. Notice that the black line has no arrow, symbolic of the fact that it is a length and not a vector. To understand the calculations required, we'll start by exploring the more familiar two-dimensional geometry world. We've drawn in a right-angled triangle and now removed all the references to vectors and we see that the scalar resolute is simply the adjacent side of a right angled triangle where the hypotenuse is known. So in our geometry world that means our scalar resolute would simply be A times cos theta. Now we need to turn this back into a vector problem. So we'll put our vectors back but now we're left with the problem of writing vector A as a scalar quantity. We do that by just taking the magnitude of vector A. And that's the scalar resolute of vector A on vector B. Let's go back over the definition. It's scalar because we're talking about a length of vector A, but not the entire vector, just the component that is in the direction of B. Recall the rule for the dot product. And there, on the right hand side of that equation, we see part of the expression for our scalar resolute. So we can transpose that equation so that the right hand side is the scalar resolute. Often when we're required to calculate these sorts of problems, we're given information about the two vectors. So it's easier to use the left hand side. Let's have a look at an example. We will go straight into three dimensional vectors because the calculations are just as easy as what they are for two dimensional vectors. There's a diagrammatic or a 3D representation of the two vectors displayed on the screen. It would be a lot harder to work geometrically to solve that problem but you'll see using vectors it comes out pretty easy. There's the rule that we determined for the scalar resolute of A on B. So we do the dot product, multiply the respective components, add them together, and we get the dot product of AB equal to 14. Place that in the formula. Next, calculate the magnitude of vector B. For that, we apply Pythagoras' theorem in three dimensions and come out with a result of 3. So the scalar resolute of vector A in the direction of vector B is simply 14 over 3. Let's have a look at how we could do that on a calculator. We'll try a slightly different example but the same ideas. Using a calculator application we'll start by assigning our vectors using matrix notation. Now the vector we were given was 4i minus 2j minus 3k. The second vector we were given was 1i minus 3j and 2k. Next we want to do the dot product of A and B. We could type in dot product or we can use the matrix menu and vector menu and down the bottom we see vectors and dot product. So we want the dot product of A and B. We need to determine the magnitude of vector B. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. I'm going to use a relationship that I know about dot products. 
that is b dot b is equal to b squared so therefore taking the square root of it will just give us the magnitude of vector b. So now I want the dot product of a and b and divide that by the magnitude of b and there's our answer. Now if you want another way of working out the magnitude of vector b we can just type in norm and that will produce the same result. In either case the scalar resolute of vector a on b for our example is 2 root 14 on 7. Now it's your turn. Find the scalar resolute of a in the direction of b given these two new vectors. Pause the video and then when you're done press resume and we'll go through the solution. Alright, let's see how you went. We'll start by writing down the formula for the scalar resolute of a on b. We'll calculate the dot product of a and b, multiply the respective components and we get 43. Place that in the rule. Next, calculate the magnitude of vector b. Pythagoras in three dimensions and we get the magnitude of vector b is 13 so our scalar resolute of a in the direction of b is 43 on 13. How did you go? If you would like more worksheets and more questions on this and other topics visit us at education.tia.com forward slash Australia